Hey folks, I'm standing outside of Price Center and I'm at UC San Diego. I'm sure you can guess since it's UC San Diego Tritons and we're gonna do a tour today, which I'm excited to walk you through. It's such a beautiful day. It's in the summer, so summer school just started this week. We're gonna try to catch some students and see why they chose to come to UCSD. Let's go. First and foremost, it's because it was convenient for me. My family lives in Orange County and I wanted to go away from the local area for college but also still be within the state. So if I wanted to go home and see my family, I still could. It's like an hour drive, that's not too bad. 
Also, I heard that like the weather and location La Jolla was great. I went to check it out when I was in middle school and I really liked it. The atmosphere here is great. The people here are great. The campus is really, really big, but that's really good exercise. There's always construction going on here, but I think that's pretty hype because that means every time I come back from break, there's going to be something new. And I chose UCSD, not only am I like a local San Diego person, I didn't want to quite leave yet, but um, I really respected the uh, departments they had here and the professors. Um, I met one of them on the Triton days and I really, really liked him. So that's why I came here. The environment is pretty good and I can learn a lot of things in these universities. And I really like the computer science department here. I can always get a lot of useful resources from our department. And also the math department is pretty helpful. I think our department is have a lot of pretty nice professors and they can always uh, be helpful for you and accessible outside of the class. Um, I came to UCSD because, um, so initially I actually got into UC Davis first. I got into a few more other UCs but I kind of forgot. Um, but I actually ended up getting off the wait list. Like, they don't really tell you why you got off the wait list, but I felt that because this school is more of a STEM-based school and I've always been really fascinated with psychology and sciences, that I felt that this was more of a fit for me compared to UC Davis. They're more known for like their veterinary stuff and like and agricultural stuff, which is not really something that I was really exposed to, so that's why I chose UCSD. I chose Warren College because I felt like the GEs interested me more than the ones in the other colleges, because the GEs at Warren are more like humanities oriented. We talk about like important topics like climate change, racism, like social topics, and I really like writing classes. The GEs are pretty, like, they're pretty lax too. We don't have five writing classes like some of the other colleges, so it's definitely manageable to, you can have a social life and be in Warren College. Also, the location of Warren College is really nice because it's away from everything else in campus, so you won't be, like, awakened at night by people blasting loud music. Yeah. You can see the freeway, you can see everywhere else in UCSD, you can see all the grad buildings, the hospitals, the labs, and I just think it's really cool. There's also raccoons, there's lots of raccoons, and raccoons are super cool. So if you, you want to see raccoons, go to Warren. Easy GEs, great location, raccoons. Um, I really like Sixth Motto and their integration of culture, art, and technology. I thought that was a really, uh, like, interesting interface that they were exploring because we got a pretty good restaurant which are your favorite restaurants uh, maybe it's a rooftop i have to be really honest i'm not the best at writing i wanted to like kind of get my writing courses out of the way and mirror college had the least amount but i would also say it's because for um for other people i know that for Ravel, there's quite there's a few more um general education like courses that you have to take um, whereas for Muir, so for, for example, for Ravel, like for math and um, sciences are actually separate, I believe. They're separate sections, so like you would have to take three for math and three for sciences. Whereas for, for my college, it's combined. So either math or sciences, and you only choose three courses. So you actually cut down on like three spots where you can actually take electives or courses that you are interested in, like, like kind of exploring to see if you want to change your major or whatnot. So. COVID, first of all, because I was class of 2020, so yeah, we were the quarantines, but <laughs> UCSD handled hybrid learning really, really well. Like, it, it's easy to reach all of the faculty, all of, like, the mental health staff. Dining here was really supportive. The housing staff is also really supportive, and I, I was in kind of a bad place when I started school here. I was battling like long-term depression and anxiety, but the school had really good resources and I had a few doctors here that really helped me through it and I'm certainly a lot more organized. I feel a lot more caught up. It's just good vibes now, especially now that the campus is open. 
it's just a lot easier to just go about life. The the rigor academically was something that I was very prepared for throughout high school, but the personal growth that I had to go through was something I wasn't ready for. College tested me in every way I didn't think was possible, and I am so much better well-rounded of a person. I am just better for the experience. I used, um, I reached out to a lot of professors towards the end of my, um, my second, like my last two years. I didn't really do that much my first years because I was a little bit too intimidated by them. But professors are people too, so that's important. And then um, UCSD has a really, really good career center uh, that I, again, didn't utilize until I was a senior. And there's a lot of like um, podcasts, they're called Triton Table Talks. Those were super helpful for like post-grad stuff. On the work is a lot, especially in ang- uh- any work related to the math or computer science. CSE 8A or CSE uh, 11. The favorite professors in the math department, the professor I really like is Mayor David. He's a pretty famous um, professor and it's hard to get his position in his class. Since it's a very STEM-based school, um, it's really important to have a very foundational like understanding in chemistry. There's a little bit of like computer science and everything. So I think that um, it's really important to like kind of have a very strong foundation in those aspects in order to actually really succeed in your first year or even like your sophomore year as well. So keep track of the enrollment because there's so many students at UCSD. And if you miss your time, you might not be able to get into the class you want. Always plan. Use the schedule planning thing on Triton Link. Look up your professors. Try to, try to put your schedule so that there's time in between each class. You don't want back-to-back classes. The passing period is 10 minutes, and everything, from UC, everything in UCSD is like 20 minutes apart from each other. So give yourself time to breathe in between your classes. And make sure to be on top of everything because everything here is pretty fast. We have a fast quarter system, our offices work really fast, so if you you can stay on top of your more uh, logistic matters, like housing, scheduling, dining plans, like routes to get to class, then you'll be fine because everything else is just there for you. It's really accessible and it's easy to get around. Um, Just get ready to walk and uh, the dining halls are good, so don't worry about that and there's a lot of good places to study on campus, I think. Um, but yeah, Geisel's really cool, and uh, 64 Burger Lounge is my favorite. That's some of the advice I'd give. <laughs> try to decide which major is, bet- is better for you first, and try to um, join some club, uh, like the computer science club something, um, to strengthen your skill outside of the um, course it could help you to improve whatever your um, ability in um, any places. I think it's pretty important. Take advantage of all of the different resources that are available. I think one of the best ways is to check your email. I think that for me, because I actually started my first year online and I wasn't actually on campus, that. Um, there wasn't really any other way to get information like you couldn't get information from people so I had to rely on email different maybe there's health related ones there's like concert related ones so then that's when it kind of like I guess branched out for me to be like okay I'll follow these more and more Instagram accounts you keep updated one great thing I would say fine if it's like in regards to financials would be food pantry so so now I covered social media and um, like general resources and then there's like a financial aspect of it. I would say career is definitely one really big thing. It's been such a busy day filming, walking around all the campus. It is a ginormous campus. They weren't kidding. So my overall assessment of UCSD is you can't really beat the weather and students seem to be generally pretty happy here. So I think you can definitely consider this school if you're interested in the STEM field, especially the sciences. Go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know if you have any questions or thoughts about the campus or if you're even considering going here. Since I met some of the students here, them actually recommended to get you in touch with them if you have any questions. So go ahead and comment down below. We'll be doing more college and career videos here and touring different campuses, so please do subscribe. I hope to see you next time.